discover hip hop, follow, like, subscribe. I'm taking the win, baby. I'm taking it, Phoenix. What's up? And I do this for all the nerds out there. You can become cool. What's up, legends? My name is Lewis Grant. I'm a massive fan and supporter of Australian rap music, and I'm here to show you guys just how vibrant our local hip hop culture really is. In this episode of Behind the Scene, we're going to be going to the first ever edition of the Break and Bread Battles. Break and Bread have been making some serious moves in Melbourne. I really hope you guys enjoy this show. Much love. Peace. What's going on, bro? Harlem. Oh, man. We are pumped today. Yeah. Are yeah. you excited? Yeah. It's yeah. battle day, baby. It's battle day. Are you nervous? I'm nervous, but yeah. in a good way. I'm yeah. using it all for the confidence, you know, turning it into that confidence. Hey. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on a minute right there. No, hold up, hold up. We're talking strategy here right now. This is the person I'm battling. Even though time is... No, you can save it. You can save it for the battle. Great. She's out here creeping and then telling me to save it. My goodness. Okay, I'm sorry, Discover Hip Hop. I was going to give you a couple of leaks, a couple of secrets, but we're going to the battles, baby. Get out of here. Get out of here, Phoenix. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Yeah. Phoenix, how are you Yo, going tonight? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Yep. You excited? I'm fucking excited as, yeah. Yep. You nervous? Okay. A little bit, but it is my first battle. Yeah. Never been to a battle, never done a battle. But that's all right. I've, I've got all my fucking nerves out. Grilly really helped me last night with Eric. Good. And yeah, we've, yeah, we're ready. I'm ready. All right, bro. Back to what we were yeah, talking about. Okay. What sort of angle are you going to take? I feel like there is this male versus female talk going on. So I'm going to try to settle that a little bit. Because I don't think it needs to be about male versus female. And um, I think I'm going to hold on to the rest. You'll yeah, have to watch yeah. the battle. What kind of angle are you taking against home? Oh, I'm going hard. Yeah, no, I'm going in. Um, obviously, it's going to be left in the battle. I think if you sign up for one, then you kind of sign a contract that says you can say whatever the fuck you want. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going in. I might get cancelled, but that's all right. What angle do you think she's going to come at you with? This is the most challenging part of the whole preparation is that I have no idea. Because yeah. I'm such a clown and all over the place, I really think she could come multiple angles. And she's vicious. She is a boss bitch, self-proclaimed, but <laughs> I've learned not to get too close to her. She's scary, man. What angle do you think he's going to be taking against you? Uh, probably that I'm a female, all that shit, and probably mock my, you know, rehab and my sobriety yep. and all that stuff. But nothing I'm not used to, so... Nice. Yeah. No, nah, she'll be right. If he, if he struggles to find bars, then I'd be disappointed because there's a lot of shit you can get up on me. <laughs> it's not that hard to find. One last question. Yeah. Who do you think is going to take the win? Out of me and Phoenix? Yeah. Look, it ain't all about confidence in this game. But I'm taking the win, baby. I'm taking it, Phoenix. I'm sorry. I'm sending you home. This is Harlem's game. I'm Fuck taking no, it bro. home. Yeah. Are, you, are you a rapper, bro? Right, no, I'm with the Harlem. We got the, we got the yeah. first. Yeah. Baby, Phoenix, you better be coming in hot because this motherfucker yeah. boiling already and I ain't even started. Yeah. Baby, let's go, baby. Let's this go. This ain't even my hometown and I got the fans <laughs> rapping me. Come on. Come on. Gotta win it. Thanks so much for coming on, bro. Thank you. Discover Let's have another chat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have another chat after the battle. Sounds good. And we'll see how you win. Talk soon, baby. Peace. One last question. Who do you think is going to win the battle? Uh, I honestly think that Harlem will win. Okay. Only because of his background and he's prepared a lot more than I have. So okay. I'd, be, I'd kind of be a little bit disappointed if he didn't. Yep. But obviously, I, I, I do want me to win. But yep. I, I know that he has prep for a long time. So it would kind of be shit if I just swooped in and took <laughs> yeah. the fucking cup. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. We'll chat again after the event. Thanks so much. No worries. Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready? Silence in the room. Round one on Phoenix, let's go. The fact that he goes straight to a dick in my mouth is probably something he should keep to himself. Since he probably grew up with pedophiles around. Because really, really told me that you were a Nickelodeon star, right? Y'all getting it now? Yeah. I didn't want to bring up the fact that you were a Nickelodeon kid. I thought the subject might be a little bit too touchy if you get my drip. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet that even Dan Schneider would rather get up off his knees, go soft, dip up, and then quit. <laughs> no time to spit, because he ain't even swallowed. One last thing, Harlan. You look like a stretched out version of SpongeBob SquarePants in an outfit you borrowed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
I'll check the whole catalog. Not very impressive. All four of your songs go for about 70 seconds. So to make three rounds, she was heavily stressed. Still learning composition and structure like a chemistry lesson. <laughs> I really gave your songs a shot. I was getting invested. But each one that I played, I was met with depression. By the end of the session, I felt like harming myself like a desperate attempt of attention. <laughs> She posts about a pic who got some fan, a fan who got some lyrics tatted up. But wants to, but have to, yeah, but have to post it with a picture of her ass to show she's packing stuff. She, she puts Juicy on her pants as if it's really fat, but she put Juicy in her ears and study some more Biggie rap. <laughs> I know this ain't your sort of scene. If I heard her rap on Biggie's level, baby, you was all a dream. Yeah. Yeah. This little kid wants to battle a big popper, but we all know she just got fucked by Chris Wallace. Time. <laughs> Give it up for her. Damn, she hit me with some hard bars, bro. I wasn't ready for that Nickelodeon shit. But... <laughs> We're live. Uh, how do you feel, bro? Man, I feel crazy. Like, yeah. this energy is insane out there. Yeah. So, I'm just buzzing off it all. But I think it was a really great battle between the both of us. Oh, fuck yeah, it was. It was so much It was fun. hectic, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, it was so hard not to break and laugh and yeah, be really, yeah. uh, like, involved in her bars. Yeah. Because I liked them so much. I was trying to kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah, keep the yeah. stance or whatever. But, um, were so you, much fun. Were you expecting her to go as hard as she did? I mean, yeah, bro, because everyone talks so well of Phoenix. They yeah. say nothing but great things. She may be the self-proclaimed boss bitch, but she is a boss bitch, I'll yeah, tell you right now. Hey, we got Phoenix here as well. How do you feel? Hi, good. Yeah, no, I feel good. I, um, I, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We kind of knew what we were going to say, so, yeah. like, for the audience as a performance, it worked really well, and, yeah. like, no hard feelings, like, like, you kill that, and... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, really psyched and that was that was like a really great thing to experience for a yeah. first battle. I think on both ends it was like just a good, because it's both our first real hyper prepared battle. Was too, yeah. So I think it was, it was dope for both of us to, I think we both brought it, you know? Yeah. I don't necessarily think there's a loser in these ones that aren't judged, yeah. especially when they both come hard. And oh, it'd be so hard so to pick, bro. I wouldn't be able to pick. It was the same with, um, same with the first yeah. one, man. And I'm yeah. sure it's going to be the same throughout the whole night. 100%. And I think that's the beauty of not having the judges, yeah. letting the crowd just have a chat yeah. about it. Yeah. Have a laugh. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. no. Part of the culture. I love that in your last your last round. It was like, it, yeah, it was fucking good. Like, yeah, thank yeah. you. Very Did you much. expect that list? That was I didn't, hilarious. but I expected something like a prop. Yeah, I expected yeah, a prop yeah. because of his background. Yeah. Um, and that was honestly, I didn't expect that. So yeah. it was great. It was great. Yeah, the New Year's earlier bar just fucking took me <laughs> yeah. out. Um, it's compliment though, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. And all props to Phoenix are actually getting up in this battle and doing it. I was just saying before, I really don't think there's many other ladies who are willing to get up and do it. Yeah. So come on, get that confidence up. It okay. can be done. Phoenix is the leading example right now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Much Fucking love. Hope. Killing it. Peace. Much love. Peace. I'm watch his battle. crew we stand for fucking unnatural my name's Brayden yeah I'm Billy aka yo Marty Della Bills sleepy male aka ways male you found me is there any misconceptions with being a b-boy oh yeah for sure bro over time some dudes like got an odd mentality towards breaking and what they perceive it to be bro when you break it down it's about like the stables of hip-hop you know peace love unity having fun met all these like cool cunts from dancing bro yeah so like what it is is good lads what's going on MC sweats and Verka on the battles tonight. Yeah. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Oh, I don't know. I got dressed before I came here. He obviously just went to Savers and found some shit. We're happy to have a bunch of fucking legends here yeah, turn yeah. up for the scene. burke has been doing it hard lately. Like he's been killing it in the freestyles. And yeah, it's going to be a good battle. I wouldn't say we're mates, but who says what the future <laughs> holds? You know what I mean? But yeah, it's going to be a great battle. Both wicked MCs, both good freestyles. So I'm keen to see what happens. Sweats, what strategy do you think Verka is going to come at you with Ooh, tonight. I feel like he might not have prepared as much as he should, and maybe I didn't either, but uh, <laughs> we are freestyles, bro. We like it from the heart. Fuck so. yeah, bro. And what, do you, what strategy do you think Sweats is going with, bro? Um, I've seen quite a few of the battles, so 
It depends. I'm keen for it. Could just be random words that rhyme and sound cool in this game, but who knows? <laughs> Either way, it's going to be a fucking killer battle. Who do you think is going to win the battle tonight? I honestly don't know till the end of it. Like, yeah. it's it's a rough one. As Sweat said, we both probably could have prepared more. So I feel like in the preparation, we could have had a winner, but fuck, we're both underprepared, so it's really 50-50. Yeah. Well, not yeah. underprepared, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, underprepared. Yeah. He's going to die tonight. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. That's, I think lose, it's going to be lose. a funny night, bro, all seriousness. Yeah. It's a funny night, good for the culture. This man's not actually to be messed with, so yeah. but neither am I, so let's fucking get it, right? Hey? Big Thanks shout so much out for to LJR on. as well and the whole crew, yeah. Sadik, Franky, out, same old scum, bro. Verks, Crooks, you oh, already know on. the guy. Yeah, yeah 3995, one thaggy. It's where yeah. the heart is, bro. Thanks to all my friends and family coming out and supporting this. Good much shit, love, much lads. respect. Thanks so, so much yeah. for coming Cheers. on. Much shout love. out Breaking yeah. Bread! Yeah, yeah. Woo Peace. We're not doing this to be a bunch of toxic cunts. We're doing this to bring people together and fucking do hip hop properly. Three, two, one. So check it out. We all hear it breaking bread. What the murder this cunty ain't never be the same again. This oh. might be the first battle of tonight, but after this I'm gonna make it feel like it's the main event. <laughs> <laughs> You've been brought up, I'll place your head with a bayonet, leave your whole life on a razor's edge, and the truth is, you're afraid of sweats. <laughs> right? Come and get all your mates, get your money at the ATM from the ANZ. You know I'm fucking beating me today, my friend. Now check it, we're all the lead beater. So this dude won't see this shit or smell it coming like a dead creature. <laughs> Why the fuck isn't Melbourne's rent cheaper? <laughs> I looked him up online. He claimed to be a ghostwriter. Well that's funny buddy, because every person that said that they listen to your music said that they don't like you. <laughs> own lunchbox or a legend in your own cypher. You're the type of guy that has just watched life float by you like a bow tire. If you fuck with me, your bones are going to end up in Mexico washed up inside a clothes dryer. When I told this cunt, when I told this cunt to bring buzz and a heat to a vent, all he bought was a fucking blow dryer. I mean, I'm known for being ice cold with it on the tracks, like a snow tire. You'll catch that later on. Anyway. <laughs> At the battles, he tried to reach out to me like a stove lighter. Mm. But then I started get got burnt by his own fire. When I started getting gassed up like a pro fighter, mm. taking heads off with each shot like a rogue sniper. And just for the fucking this fat cunt to come to the event today to cancel, I had to make the roads wider. <laughs> An Aussie cop out. Oh! Show you what's really off the top of the head when the top of your head's used as a mop now. Your missus loves when my cock's out. Drops down, box town like training gyms. He's underestimating this. All these sweat marks like sweat marks from training gyms. Oh! I think you're dope with rhymes and freestyle with an open mind. See, you remind me of me if I had dementia. And all my bars were problems to remember. So I was waiting for a flip just to see where I could enter. But that's the thing. You only flip. So if I expose your shit, just remember I'm the reason you had a fucking opening. So get stalled, so get stalled like traffic is. But don't think you could own this kid because this ain't trafficking. I've been starving for this battle like Marvin the African. See, you know remember when you threw a milky bar? Thinking that shit was hard. You know what, props to you, it did land, but let's reverse the roles like I'm reversing roles. Take my motherfucking sweat, yeah! yeah. <laughs> call in the lead singer, call it Sweats Band. Until he was told he wasn't allowed to freestyle rap over rock and roll tracks, now Sweats Band. Oh. Now tell me, what's your next plans? Go home, text fans, tell them that this shit's scammed. You know what, I'll leave it there, man. But not gonna lie, untangle your hair and you look like you're from Bethlehem. <laughs> Give it up for Burgers first. Good shit, man. Cheers, that was boys. so fucking heavy. Cheers. Both of you, bro. I, Thank you. I, if I had to pick a winner, I literally couldn't, man. It was no, so good. tight. No, it was just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fucking hectic, guys. That was sick. Um, 
How do you feel? How do you feel? Fucking great. Fucking recording. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking. Yeah. I could use that sweatband back. <laughs> <laughs> Were you expecting what you got? Like, are um, you surprised? I was. At the yeah. same time, I was expecting, but you can't expect what's to come. It's a very in the moment thing. Yeah. Like, especially when you're freestyling and that, like, We've written, you can see the direction, but freestyles, it switches up any second, and it was just a constant battle of like a little bit of flips and switches and just Man, fucking solid it, battle. It, it was so yeah. fucking sick, bro. Yeah. Watching you like try and like fucking read where he's going, you can see it in your eyes. Like you're yeah, like, bro. you're like following fucking it, you know what I mean? Does that throw you off at all, or yeah, you just get it? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as prepared as I could have been. Yeah. Life gets in the way sometimes, but uh, yeah. there's a lot more of these coming, so if anything, it shows us. Both of us, what we need to do more, what we need to work on harder. Um, yeah, and just be back stronger and better next time and yeah. more prepared, you know. Um, so yeah. I think we both had some rounds written as well, and God knows I only use fucking one round, the rest of freestyles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, fucking That's start sick, forgetting. Man. That's awesome, That's right man. Up. Thanks so much for coming on, boys. Oh, you all say, my brother. Yeah, take you, care, bro. bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. You don't want on the ass, my man. What you do is they got over there. To the little four man back, four man back, four man back, 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 Oh, I think Australia specifically, it's like there's just not a lot of opportunities. Like you could be the best break dancer and win every competition, but you'd probably, you'd probably lose money from traveling to the competitions. Maybe the prize money's not big enough. So it's definitely not funded as much as what I think it should be. We just don't have the resources and enough people to do something that big here. Are we? You guys keen or what? Mate, I'm fucking. I just want to get it over with, cunt. I'm fucking. Mate, we've been. I've been fucking living with this cunt for what? How many days? Five days. Uh, mate, we've been trying to keep up, keep away, trying to stay strong, trying to get the verses done. Not really. We haven't rehearsed at all, but yeah. we'll get there. Yeah. I'm pretty stressed and I just want to get drunk, but I can't <laughs> because fucking I'll fuck up my shit a bit more. So. On the same page as it, just keen to get it done, we're gonna have a bunch of fun, we'll see how it goes. Poor cunt though, he has to sleep with me at night after I smoke him. <laughs> I mean, not sleep with me, I know that's what you wanna do, but like, he has to stay in the same house, it's gonna be a bit awkward. Who do you both think is gonna win this battle? The culture. The culture's gonna win, bro, I don't care who's gonna, you know what I mean? It's beautiful, bro. Yeah, yeah, the culture's gonna win, bro. Every fucking rap fan out there, they're gonna win, man. In all honesty, bro, like, the way we've structured and written our rounds is like, we really wanted to just put on a show, bro, and we wanted people to enjoy themselves, you know what I mean? Because see, at the end of the day, like, as much as we roast the fuck out of each other, it sounds personal, it sounds like we have beef. We are actually good mates and it's the same shit that goes around battles all the time, bro. A lot of people might not like it, but it is what it is. We ain't here just to fucking, you know, kill each other. We're not here just to destroy the other person's personality. At the end of the day, it's all just fucking, it's fighting words, you know what I mean? It's the rap game, this is how it goes. Fuck yeah. You know That's I mean? awesome, bro. Shout, shout out Breaker Bread, shout out Uncle Grills, put your fucking toes in the grass sometime, boy, get around it. <laughs> Trust God. Culture too. Shout yeah. out to the culture, trust God. Shout out the boys, that's try. We're bringing okay. real hip hop back in style. That's yeah, word. Real hip hop, real music back in style. Check the space, bro, straight up. Two, three. Silence! Can everyone hear me alright? Yeah? Alright. Yeah. 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 Over oh, Scrubble Dub Dublin. <laughs> How fucking lovely. Thank you, really? Putting me up against one of the only cunts in this industry that fucking loves me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking massive. I love it. <laughs> Justin, you are one handsome little stud. You sexy little cum guzzling, <laughs> bus jumping, petrol pump huffing, outback duck hunting, single mum loving, buff touching cunt. <laughs> 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 Justin, you are like the Nike Air Max personified. <laughs> you are like a Mad Deer Pro Scooter that's been modified. It's that fucking T-bar off the trolley, body proper ride, what a ride. Drop in five bucks a McMuffin and a box of fries, and he'll pop a grind over the box and tail whip over a fucking slide. What a guy. <laughs> Scrub! Scrub! I heard him getting drunk on the bubbly. 
Looking for the stingray that killed Steve Irwin in the Twitter beef with Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Somewhere out in the country, sniffing skippy tip, feeling jumpy. Decides to go for a run, runs in a tread from Punchy, jumps him, takes his last can of Bundy and says, Don't ever let me see your face again around my head. <laughs> When I think of Muzzlebrook, I think of one fucking word, Huffy. Cut <laughs> your diet consists of two things, Bundy and 24-7 Traveller Pie Extra Chunky. <laughs> Which would make sense, because I like to hear that Justin keeps his bum hole big and crusty, and that's the real reason he got invited into the videos with the Syntax Junkies. <laughs> oh yeah, the age-old Brizzy initiation. <laughs> and brother, I'm not going to sit here hating you. Because I did the same shit. <laughs> what? You think people are just out here spitting and getting famous? Do you know how fucking sick this game is? Cunt, I'm from Ipswich. If I did it, do you know what would be in the papers? Ipswich rapper goes Brisbane. PM slams soft laws on immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you are my favourite little itty bindi Indian Asian mixed race lippy Australian. You're like the only kid of the nation that can legally identify as Iggy as <laughs> got decent at rapping it's because the houses where you saw my throat so far apart you it's impossible to piss off your neighbours and if you did your parents just did them some favours and said Deborah trust me one day our little autistic kid will be famous <laughs> and I came on your bed sheet to the Airbnb <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Trent from Punch the other day and all he just said was tell Uncle a fucking relax, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that verse fucking slapped. Trent also told me to tell you, give me his fucking purse back. <laughs> Anyways, break a bet and hit me up because matter of who gives a fuck? Let's just get straight to the point. You are a gay cunt. <laughs> you fucking lame grub. <laughs> I've had a bone to pick with you since day one. Because anytime you and me used to take drugs, whether it's cocaine, buds, homemade stuff, low grade cuts, even if it was just straight guards, how the fuck was I always broken than you and you still never even paid once? <laughs> Anyways, Mr. Fucking Encore, Brisbane's Dr. Seuss. What's your favourite nursery rhyme as a kitty fiddler on the roof? <laughs> you look like a skinny prostitute that drinks a lot of booze, quits a lot of views, and spent a whole week sparring in the ring across the zoo. <laughs> you fucking chap worse uh, looking hungry jacks worker. <laughs> People are like, what the fuck? Is that cursor in a black burger? <laughs> you fucking <laughs> shame. <laughs> Metro, <laughs> weird cunt, I don't even actually you know what. Let's go because you know what? I'm gonna smoke a few fucking sash cones. Does anyone have any money? Because I need to get home and get some seats at this time for fucking. <laughs> yeah, Look, I'm a bit slow, I'm a bit retarded. You know what? Still love you. Like and guess what? You're sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> it just depends on how I fucking sound when I rhyme, and it doesn't matter what, because guess what? Nothing, I was just guessing, you know. Make no subscribe, guys. Boys, how the fuck we going? We're going. We're definitely going. Yeah. Yeah. He's going. Yeah. He's going. We're on the cat's now, so he's going into the flood again. That's what he's doing. A lot of people have been worried that seeing with the red wipes is not a good thing. Yeah, it's a good fucking reason, but we'll talk about that another time. That's Bro. the story another day. We both kind of had a look at each other at one point. Yeah. We both knew that we fucked up. <laughs> and he kind of looked at me like, just run it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I went, yeah. fuck it. And then I looked at him at the same thing. It was like, just do it. Like you know I mean? said before the battle, it was all about fun. Yeah. You start getting in your own head a bit. And we could see that. I could see that in him. In, but I was just, I kind of looked at him. I was just kind of like, just, let's just do it. Yeah. And we had yeah, fun. I mean. That was it. You know? If you're going to ask me the same question, same shit, man. Like, yeah. I'm just glad that he kept running it. Yeah. We had fun. 
and that was it, man. We made it work, but it ended up actually turning out better because if we had the whole scripted regime, people could already see the, the vibe yeah. that was happening between us. They knew some people in the crowd apparently were saying, oh, they look like fucking mates, like yeah. proper, you know what I mean? There was no animosity. Well, that's the so. funny thing, because we are mates. Yeah. <laughs> sort of, I don't know. If he gets on this too much tonight, we'll fucking Yeah, he might disown me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say as well, I saw that moment where you both kind of realised and you were like, it, the camaraderie between the two of you in that yeah. moment was fucking beautiful, bro. Yeah. That's a real friendship, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Seeing each other in the middle of that, and it's just like, nah, it's all good, bro. Actually, wait, I'll rephrase. The highlight of my performance is the fact that he's kind of kept flirting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had to do it. Oh, and then he started, Someone had to do it. And then he started battling a fucking crowd member. I just gave he was yeah, battling yeah, a crowd member. Yeah, Half his yeah. round was fucking him dissing the crowd. Yeah, that guy turned out to be from Queensland. He goes, Yo, Queensland says I dismount. He goes, I know. I was sitting there. I was about to go have a smoke break. I was like, I'll just let him keep going. I had to bring it back. We got there, bro. At the end of the day, it actually, in my opinion, it turned out better because it was so off the cuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was awesome, bro. It was better to be, right? Yeah. Other than those, we done it. We ran up. Shout out, breaking bread. Shout out, everyone who came out. Shout out, fucking oath, bro. Once again, he comes back to fucking own. Gang, gang. Fucking oath. Much love, boys. Peace. Much love, my bro. that you've learned through dancing? Just expression, bro. You can either be a clone and look like somebody else, or you can dance the way you want to dance. Yeah. Don't be scared to, don't be scared to be who you are. That's it, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Because to dance, you learn to be yourself and you discover yourself. It's a whole journey. Like Sleep said, it's just about expression, hey. You got like some shit going down, you can channel it into something positive and fucking, you know, actually bring it, change the energy from something shit to something good where you like, you know, it benefits other people. Yeah. Dancing is like a deep connection to yourself. It's presence, it's all that shit. It's, Fuck it's yeah, lovely. bro. Don't be fucking scared. And yeah. like he said, no no one can do you better than you, baby. So just like get out there and rock it. Have some fun. This is about. All right, Howie the Farmer. How are you, bro? Yeah, it's your boy, Howie Farmer. Andy Ho. Howie, I go by Howie now. Yeah. That's my new name. What's happening, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling extremely good. This is my first battle. First battle, and you're battling a fucking OG. No, 100%. They put me in the deep end. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm here for. This is what I was prepared for. If I'm going to get into the rap game, the battle game, I don't want to start at the bottom. I want this fucking express lane top. Yeah, yeah. How are you, bro? I'm good, my friend. Lewis, how are you? Good, bro. You keen? Yeah, you nervous? Keen. You excited? Not nervous, man. I'm ready, bro. I've been yeah. doing this shit for over 15 years. Um, yeah. Fucking prepped in the last couple of days. Howie's a good mate, he's a great comedian, but this is a rap battle, I'm gonna do what I do, you know? Yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, fucking oath, yeah, man. fucking oath. What kind of angles are you gonna take in the battle tonight? I'm just gonna dissect his life, right? And see where he went wrong in his life, and just bring awareness to it. <laughs> Do you think he's going to find a unique angle? What sort of angle do you he's think he's going to He's got all the from? angles. He knows me. I, yeah. I, we're friends, so I tell him all my personal business. So yeah. fucking, he's going to go in. <laughs> and I ain't yeah. fucking holding back either, bro. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Fuck you know, yeah. we roast each other with comedy all the time. So to have a rap battle, something different, I get to fire it up, you know? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Who do you think is going to win this battle? I think, um, to be honest with you, I will win based on the effort that people will see and the sheer shock of it all, you know? Me, I'm that guy that no one looked at, no one cared about, people doubted, people said don't rap. When Greeley was the guy getting the daps, I was the guy in the back. When yeah. Greeley was failing the test, I was getting the A's, because I'm a nerd. Yeah. And I do this for all the nerds out there. You can become cool. Yeah. You can. Fuck Fake yeah. it till you make it. It's is, all a lie. Is there any... <laughs> It's all fucking live. Yeah. Is there any party message, any shout outs you want to do, anything at all, bro? I want to shout out to my boy Popcorn from Darwin. He was the one that got me ready in the battle. He rapped at me, he called me fat for an hour. <laughs> he told me to rip on him having no parents. Hey, you asked me that, no hard feelings. But that is what got me here, and that's why Grilly is gonna get smashed. Fuck yeah, bro. Much love. Thanks for coming on, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, no worries. peace out. Peace. What's your kind of approach? What's your strategy? Just to get the crowd popping, man. That's yeah. my strategy is to try and get the crowd popping. 
build it. Yeah. I'm all about building it, hitting with the hard punch lines. That gets the place erupted, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, bro. that's my strategy. Yeah, fucking oath. I think we got to jet back in. Let's over. do it, my bro. Thanks Thank so you very much. On. Discover hip hop. Follow, like, subscribe. Yeah. I'm the bit of me, Fifty Cent. That's why I started the V Unit crew. Vietnamese people stick together like glue in a handmade Nike shoe. <laughs> but in Tasmania, if your family ain't banging you, that's a family feud. Ugly <laughs> bogan can't shake your face, look like a jungle. This guy used Ancestry.com. As a dating app to swipe right on his uncle. <laughs> I know the truth is fucked up. Last night my sister gave you a massage, you couldn't even get it out. <laughs> and then now you go to the mall with your go perfume blood looking for companion. Really, you're just the wish version of Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> I work with fruit, but I definitely know you fruity. Oh. I don't dare turn my back on Grilly, you keep staring at my booty. <laughs> Enough of the gay bars. I know you heard, and you've been to many of those. When Grilly hear the song, many men, you want to take off all his clothes. <laughs> But you act homophobic in the street. This guy wanna go vegan, but his favorite thing to do is share meat. And look, man, it's not my fault. Your childhood is shitty. So don't blame me when your dad got fucked by Diddy! So you talking shit about my middle name? Well, I'm guessing you think that you're hard, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna flip this quick while I'm ripping your last flow. If you think I'm the wish version of Spanian cunt, you're the wish version of Arm Doe. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, you and I come from different backgrounds. It's pretty obvious. It isn't questionable. So for our cultural differences to come up in this rap battle, it's safe to say it's inevitable. Because you Vietnamese people like to do a couple things that Australians don't really think is acceptable. Like, like we call a dog a man's best friend. He calls a dog a stir fry with coconut milk and some vegetables. I heard you dog cunts like to eat dog nuts. <laughs> I rocked up to your house and I said, Hobie, where's the dog, bros? He said, I've got a couple in the freezer. Chopped up. <laughs> I, said, I said, I said, what, cunt? <laughs> Surely you've got a pet doggo that you must be taking me to. Can't we have a game of fetch? Hobie said we don't play with our food. <laughs> Australians will buy a doggo and bring it home to the family. You know, let it play with the kids and then put in the kennel. See, Vietnamese bring the doggo home to the family, but they just grab the crock pot and put on the kettle. Yeah. Yeah. It's just dog eat dog world. <laughs> and a lot of Australians think it's run down. But I don't mind the Vietnamese people like to eat dogs. If you didn't know, mate, Tasmanians like to fuck trout. <laughs> your noodles, a bit of retriever on your pizza, and then you like to mix it with some dog piss or put in a margarita, you took it, you need to stop the damage mate, you should be standing against animal cruelty instead of often acting fake, but still, you keep joking about eating dogs while you stock and stack your plate, so I came to Melbourne to get revenge for all the Vietnamese doggos to make sure that this fucking dog will have his day. Yeah. What yeah, is bro. fucking happening, oh, that was bro? was crazy, man. How do you feel? Yeah, so good, bro. Glad it's done. This is yeah. all the preparation, and Grilly's been in my corner, bro. We wanted to make this 
you know, bigger than us. So yeah, fucking oath, man. It's absolutely sick. Do you want to actually jump up here? The lighting's that's guy. Better right. Go. You go first. Cheers. Yeah, bro. That's way better. Yeah, that's yeah, better. Yeah, bro. You shocked the shit out of me, man. I didn't some expect those bars, bars though, that bro. Theater. Hectic, man. Yeah, bro. Oh, that's what I've been working on, bro. Like. I had to step the level up, bro. Yeah. How do you feel about it, bro? I feel like I did good, bro. I, everything uh, executed how I planned it. Yeah. And the crowd work, I knew that once, because I'm a comedian. Like, yeah. when I'm in the crowd, I work the crowd, and I try to do that as much as I could with staying in the zone and just being a battle rapper in that zone. So, yeah. in the battle rapper, yeah. Fucking oath, bro. It's hectic. Real shit, bro. I respect the game. I'm a big fan of battle rap, and that's why... I had to go hard, bro. And Greeley gave me the shot. I had, to, I had to go hard. Fuck yeah, man. That's awesome, bro. Thank you, brother. Um, how do you feel, Greeley? When did you? Greeley, fucking he excellent. Nah, he went. Like, I knew it was gonna be great, but yeah. he was even better than expected. Like you don't know what it's like battling Greeley, and you're in the middle of it, and the whole crowd is just waiting yeah. on every word, bro. Yeah. That's that wordplay. Yeah. Did it shake you at all, bro? He it, was getting it, in your it, face. It did, but I had to get out of it. And like, I'll uh, be honest, I think Greeley definitely helped me yeah. in this battle you know he didn't just fucking like he could have i reckon really could have fucking went like full-on cyclone and destroyed me but as i said this was like it's really it's a battle but it's a collaborative effort bro to put on a show so that's why yeah. you know i'm so happy my first battle with yeah. the, the goat and uh it went perfect so hey hopefully more but hey, this is the shit. Hey, yeah, that's what I want to do better than cunts would expect. That was the, the goal. Yeah, the goal was to, I think that was the goal, main goal, is cunts had a perception of how I would do. Yep. But like, I'm really, I really love the bars, bro, and I, I, and I love theatre. You crushed it, bro. Thank you, brother. Have you got any parting messages, shout outs, oh, no. Instagram, anything Hey, all, just bro? follow what Greeley's doing, follow what I'm doing, the stand up shit. Just watch what we're doing, bro. Breaking bed. Fucking Breaking out. bed. Fucking we're doing out. it. We're doing it. Follow all these artists, bro. We're fucking we're killing it. On, Thank you, brother. Thanks so much. Peace. have for someone that's wanting to dance but they're struggling with the confidence to get themselves into that position just fucking do it yeah. just fucking do it bro there ain't there ain't nothing about it you just gotta do it if you ain't you just gotta try yeah you don't overthink it man you just like get your ass down to a scene do a little bit of homework go to some classes yeah do classes or you know just like get involved however you can wherever you're at you know like i'm from the bush 
still get up here and fucking break it with these folks. Fuck you know? yeah. It's all about it. Eric Devine, headline event, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking happening. Are you keen? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Right here. <laughs> the nerves haven't kicked in just yet. Plenty of yeah. overthinking over the past week or so. Just a yeah. lot to get ready for, a lot to prep for. Are you feeling um, confident? You feeling prepped? Yeah, I back myself. I'm feeling really good nice. about what I've got prepped. I know nice. that we're going to put on a fucking killer show. Nice, bro. That's good, man. Yeah. So what angle do you think you're going to take in this battle. Eros is a seasoned veteran. He's been doing this a long time. Yep. Are you going to try and go somewhere no one's gone before? Uh, I wouldn't say no one has gone before. With Eros in particular, it, it might be the case. Um, but yeah, there's definitely going to be a mixture of comedy in there and um, yeah, just a, a bit of some lessons to teach, I guess, from, from past battles and doing a bit of research. So yeah, okay. yeah just some lessons in, I guess, yeah, just just things that I guess could have been done better in his past, in his okay. career. I'm not going to say too much, but yeah, I definitely want to take him to school tonight. What angle do you think he's going to come at you? With? I have fucking no idea, to be honest. I'm the rookie, so you know, I'm. This is my fourth battle, and Eros has done fucking fuck knows how many. He's been around for over ten years, battling fucking all of his adult life, even before he was an adult. He was sneaking yeah. into venues and True. doing battles, so wow. he's very seasoned, and yeah. he's definitely not someone to underestimate. So I've tried to pull out all the stops and make sure that I'm coming ready. It's going to be cutthroat. It's going to be a pretty yeah. bloodbath type of battle. Yeah. I know that it's not going to be all the all the jokes and all of the, the comedy as such. We're definitely going to be coming for each other's throats. Yeah, so fucking it's, um, Yeah, it's going to be a battle, battle. Battle, battle, battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think is going to take the win for the battle? I back myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. That's you good, man. Let's, yeah. let's fucking go. 100%. Yeah, That's I back awesome. myself. Eric, I, I'm going to say 2-1. Let's say 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. I'll, I'll give him a round, but fuck I reckon yeah. I'm going to take it. Is there anything else you want to say, bro? Good luck, Arrows. Yeah. I'll fucking see you at 10-20, bitch. Yeah, fucking <laughs> oath, bro. Thanks for coming on, man. No worries, brother. Arrows, how the fuck are you, bro? I'm good, brother. I'm good. How are you? Good, bro. Are you nervous? Fuck, that's a good smell, eh? It smells like fucking absolute, <laughs> absolute peace, boys. I'm good, boys. I'm a little bit nervous. Been a, little, been a couple of years, but yeah. me and Eric should be good. I'm ready to go out there and do what I do yeah. and uh, it's performed, so. What angle do you think he's going to take? Do you think he's found a unique angle after all the years of you battling? I think a lot of short jokes. I think a little bit of moral high ground stuff because I'm a bit, if you go look at my old battles, it's a bit fucking out there. A um, <laughs> little moral high ground, a bit of fucking short jokes. We'll be surprised if there's much else, but, um, you know, it's going to be good. How are you uh, planning to kind of attack him, you know? I think I just do what I do and that's just yeah. character... Uh, aggressiveness, just show of skill and display. I don't. I'm not personally coming at him. It's nothing like that. We're just here to rap. I'm here to rap and show who's the better rapper, and that's what we're gonna do. Fuck yeah, bro. Fucking no. Much love, bro. Thanks so much for coming on. Is Thank there you, a bro. Message you want to leave or uh, shout outs? Sh Instagram. Shout outs to Discover Hip Hop. That's what we do. Thank you, bro. Thank Appreciate you, that. Thank you, Much love. Peace. Arrows versus Eric Divine. Damn. Whoever thought it would come to this. Well, by the time that I'm done with him, I'm gonna make sure that he's suffering. I even got a couple methods outlawed by the governments. Old school's in session for Eric, and damn, you ought to be studying, because I'm about to beat this kid to teach him a lesson like corporal punishment. What? I said, well, you were still working on your grind and progressing? I was battling my demons and fighting depression, and now we're rivals. You eye to eye with a legend. Got him looking for some angels in the sky for a blessing. Shit, we could even use a Bible for reference. It's like Cain and Abel how I'm killing my brother. Eric's in need of divine intervention. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, and he's gonna say that I'm short, right? Well, all right. <laughs> if he tries to step to me, he's gonna need all kinds of weaponry. Cause I might be shorter than you, but I'm the bigger man on stage tonight. You should have tried to let me be. Cause when the right and left connect, it's a sight you'll never see. I guarantee I'm nowhere near as short as his life expectancy. <laughs> and right now, I'm content and happy. So whatever you do, Eric, don't get me angry. And if you ever fucking do, you best have a plan B. Cause you'll have kicks coming from everywhere. Have him thinking it's a stampede. Basically what I'm saying is, I'll give Eric another Bluetooth. Hands free! <laughs> yo, 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 out to T for putting this on. You won't find a lineup harder. And if Eric starts doing me wrong, this footage is gonna have to be heavily edited in the final master because I'll cut this little cunt cleaner than Kai the Barber. Oh!
I'll stick his bare bones in my yard, arms wide like a scarecrow while I continue to land blows. Oh, I'm four battles deep, facing one of our vets. I can't tell if they've lost all faith in you or if I'm making Greeley and Dunners now sweat. Yeah. I told Chazza I'd send him packing to the UK. Ask that cunt to drop location to figure out how it went. <laughs> Rossi was just a fun clash with a mate, but I still deflated that ego fucking popping out his chest. Mr. Rockman was third. That was one for the ages. He's a proper lyricist. We were throwing punches in places that would make you run from the stages with your head in your hands to cover your two faces. <laughs> but this guy's fucking hungry though. That type of hunger to make your knees weak. The only reason Arrow's rocked up tonight is he thought that breaking bread was a free fee. <laughs> Show his master chef. Come plays it on repeat. Just praying for the day that they make 4D TV screens. <laughs> you, you must have had a crack at a pallet with some lentils. Stomach ache tapping on a dish of continental. Never got a proper feed, so I had to tick it like a rental. If I tried to ankle tap him, I'd just kick him in the temple. <laughs> I ain't talking about your height, I'm talking about your music and I'm talking about your height. I could talk about some true shit, I could talk about your light. I bet you're feeling like a nuisance when you walk around at night. Wondering why your bright career ahead turned to seem short. Trying to ramp it up with thrust, but trust you need talk. This cock's career in the pit like it's been torched. You're about to become the definition of D-Corpse. <laughs> Motherfucking go, bro. How do you feel? I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. First off, let me ask you a question. What do you think of the battle? What do I think of the battle? Yeah, your personal opinion. I think Eric got it, bro. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest, I'll with, be you honest with you. If we're all looking at the footage, I think the same thing too. Yeah. You know, and and as I said, if we want to talk, me and our old mate had a conversation before. You're welcome, brother. Go past. And me and old mate had a conversation before, <laughs> and um. I said to him, the outcome of this meant nothing to me. I mentioned this on Thursday at the weigh-ins, and really the truth is the truth. The outcome of it meant nothing to me. I'm just so happy to be here, blessed to do what we do, put on for a crowd. We sold 300 tickets tonight. That's fucking awesome. 300 um, yeah, 300 tickets we sold. That's fucking hectic. They might not have all came, but they all paid, so I'm not worried about that. But um, you know, what I say is uh, about the whole thing. You know, I'm on a high still. I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a high from the battle, and Eric's good, man. Yeah, bro. Eric's good, bro, and and I always knew he was coming with some angles and shit, yeah. and I knew I was never going to be able to write for that sort of shit. So we're going to leave it at that. But what I'm going to say is, mate, as I said in the battle, you see on the footage, Eric is 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 a young kind and he's hyped up and he's and he's a future, bro. I think after this, I think he's a staple in the Breaking Bread battles. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's definitely going to be a staple, and I think it's awesome to look forward to. I may have mentioned my retirement. Yeah, bro. I may have mentioned that. You I might see that. Goosebumps at that. You moment. might see that, and it was a bit of a, you know, a spontaneous moment. I've been thinking about it. I think, you know, the passion for me isn't isn't always as is there as, as I had coming into it as a 13, 14 year old, you know. But I do think if the right money's there, I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can motivate myself. You know what I'm saying? Are we gonna have a rematch with Eric in like a year or so? I mean, bro? maybe, maybe, maybe that's the thing that happens. You know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not needed. Maybe it is. Maybe Eric's on to bigger and better things. Yeah. You know, and I hope so. He is. I hope so. He is because that's what this battle shit's about. It's about expanding and doing bigger things. You know, we don't want to revisit shit. He did his thing. He prepared properly. He got his shit held down. I, I might have started a little bit in the last round and spent some freestyles, but he's a Donny man. He's my boy. He's my brother. Like. Can Fuck. I just say, bro, your attitude and your your whole perspective and everything with this yeah. is honestly unmatched, bro. I don't think there's many people that have been in the scene as long as you that would carry that same attitude. I think a lot of people are going to let egos get involved. Yep. And the way that you're, in a sense, handing the reins over to Eric and giving him your fucking personal blessing yep. is one of the 
fucking goats in the country at the moment. Yeah. It's beautiful, bro. I appreciate that, man. And I think with the whole thing, I think we come from a place of ego. Battle rap is from a place of ego. And if you can't, if you don't have an ego, you probably shouldn't be here, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sense of that, I know what I can do, I know what I'm capable of, I know at my best, I'm almost untouchable. You know, we have moments and everybody does their thing. But I'm saying in the sense of, there's no, like, I don't have that feeling of like, oh, I've, you know, I've lost, this is terrible for me. It, this is another, just another stepping stone in my, what I do, you know what I mean? And right now, I don't feel like this is the most important thing in my life, but I feel like this is something I still love and cherish. Yeah. You know, so there's no like, animosity, there's no feelings like that. I just hold it down and do what I do. And there's a reason Eric won is because he deserves to win, you know what I mean? So yeah. to hold on to that and make it into a, a bad thing is bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to say, as I said, I said Eric's a Donny, and uh, I love what he does and his future is bright and he's got plenty of opportunities ahead of him. I also want to say, shout out to Discover Hip Hop for holding me down once again. Appreciate you, bro. And I appreciate your time, bro. Yeah, fucking oath, man. Uh, I appreciate that so much. And uh, is there any other message or shout outs you want to give out to the rest of the world? Not necessarily, bro. Not necessarily. If you want to follow me, I mean, welcome to follow me. I'm on Eros, uh, Eros Melbourne on Instagram. I got some SoundCloud shit. I don't really release that much music because I'm a bit lazy. But I do have a lot of music out there. So if you want to suss it, just look up Eros. I'll be there. A-E-R-O-W-S. I'm there. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll see what I do. And stay tuned for Discover Hip Hop live streams. We're going to be seeing a bit of Eros. 100%. We're going to do some shit. I'm going to kick some freestyles with some of the lads. Yeah, Thank no. you for having me, brother. Thanks so much, bro. No worries, man. Peace. Jeez. Hectic, bro. My bro, what's going on? We got the host of the evening, the one and only Shine and Armor. How What's you good, doing, bro? bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Can't complain. Yeah. Had a great fucking first Brick and Bread battle yeah. event. Man, there's more to come, bro. Yeah. I'm excited about After tonight, I'm excited. How do you feel about the event as a whole? It went well. Yeah. On my side, as the referee, I started there and there. The first. <laughs> yeah. But, but you recovered well, bro. Recovered. That's one thing I noticed. I recovered. Yeah. I recovered. Yeah. I think because I had really on my side. Yeah. And I was confident that I had somebody to pick me up if I was sleeping. Yeah. Even if he didn't know, he was actually just fucking digging. I was like, yeah, yeah, we here, yeah. we here. And then you know the confidence kind of builds up. Like, yeah. I got this, you know. What uh, what was the biggest um, challenge? The biggest unforeseen challenge of the evening? Tonight. Remembering the sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was the biggest thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, every other thing was all good. Yeah. I knew that I will, I will, I will, I will catch on. But when it came to announcing the sponsors, it was like, yeah. I hope I don't yeah, fuck yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, and well, oh, and well. I'm, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Bro. Yeah. I'm happy. No doubt. So, what was the, what was the highlight of the evening for you? Was it like anything, anything at all? Cipher, dance, one of the bars in the battle. The highlight was watching everybody enjoy it, like I did, you know, and being a part of it and making it actually come to life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing beats that. Because when you start an idea, you don't know who will receive it. When you start pushing ticket sales, you don't know who will buy. Yep. And on the day of the event, you're watching everybody that you never thought would be there. And they make the event fucking epic. You know what I mean? And that's 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 the beauty of the night, the highlight of the night. That's it, bro. Another sold out show, man. Yeah. Number one! Incredible. Yeah. Another, that's, that's number seven. Seven, holy shit, Since man. Since you started, bro. That's fucking nuts. Since you started, we've been fucking selling shit out. Is there anyone else in Melbourne or Australia that's done seven sold out shows since they've started? I don't want to get into those politics, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is yeah. we got seven sold out shows. Yeah. Everybody else know their business. Yeah. We're not beefing with everybody. We'll pull up to your show and support you. Fuck That's yeah. it, big Fuck love, yeah. baby. And big if you love. don't show up to our shows, it's still cool. We'll show yeah, up to your yeah, show yeah. and support you. Yeah, fuck it. That's right. what the culture's about, you know? It's about the culture. That's baby. it, baby. That's fuck it. Right. That's it, bro. Bro, another thing I want to ask you yeah. what message do you have for anyone that didn't come to this one to get them to come to the next one? Not showing up is on you. Yeah. We want you here. Yeah. We'll always constantly say buy a ticket. If you don't, it's on you. But find out about Breaking Bread. Find out about how the culture is moving right now. Be everywhere and everywhere like air, hey, baby. Pull up, show love, for showing love, it's showing love and showing love. One love to your yeah. discovery hip hop. This is where it's at. If you really want to know what hip hop in Australia is about, follow that shit. Fuck See yeah, you bro. on the flip side. Peace. Peace. Shout outs to Breaking Bread for Shout holding out to it down. Bread. Wow, like, they did, yeah, great you know, job. These guys done a killer job. 
and I, I hope to see more of it, you know, it's about passing shit down, and this is like, you know, we got to pass hip-hop down to the next generation, man, keep shit alive, so shout-outs to everyone involved, everyone that got down tonight. The more supporters we have, the better, and like, it's sharing, you give us energy, we give you more, and it gives us artists and emerging artists a place. It's fucking important, so shout-outs to everyone, eh? A shout-out to my man behind the camera, doing work, I don't know if he's getting paid or if it's just for love, but you need more people creating content and bringing awareness like this, and, and if you see this, have an amazing day, and never stop following your stupid 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 dreams eh peace we are fun crew we love what we do and we love doing it for people so it's about the go. fun fucking unnatural don't forget it yes. peace out thanks for coming around <laughs> yes